Hello everybody and welcome back to another math video. Today the problem I brought you goes as the following. We have this equation here a plus b is equal to a times b minus 3 in parentheses and we want to solve the equation for b which means we want to rewrite this equation to get b by itself on one side. So how do we do that? Well, let's see. So we want b all by itself on one side, right? But if you were to notice, taking a glance at it, you would notice that we have two b's here. So what we need to do is we need to put them together, okay? So first thing that I'm going to do or we're going to do to solve for b is we're going to simplify the right side a little more since we can't simplify since this a is being multiplied to the b minus 3 which means we can distribute this a oops distribute it to both of the terms here to the b and to the negative 3 so let's rewrite that so our a plus b stays the same is equal to so a times b would be 8b minus a times 3 so I'll just call that 3a. Okay, so we got that done. So next thing we want to do is we want to get all the b's, all the terms that have the variable b in them on one side. So I'm going to put all the b's on the right side. So whatever is not a b on the right, whichever does not have a variable b, whichever term does not have the variable b on the right side, I will move to the left. And this is it. I'm referring to this negative 3a here. So since it's negative 3a, I will add it to the left side. And then I'll have a plus 3a is 4a plus b is equal to now just a b. And now the next thing we do is, as I mentioned before, we want to get the b's, the terms with the variable b in it, on one side. So this b here, I will subtract from the left side and just subtract it to the right side also. Okay, so I rewrote our new looking equation up here. So now, as you can see, we have all the terms with a b on the same side. So what we want to do is we want to get just one singular b, right? Because we're solving the equation for b, so we can only have one b. So what we're going to do is we're going to factor out the b from the right equation. And by factoring out, that means that from each term here, we're going to basically divide it or take out a b. So that means we will have a b times, so it's a b divided by b would just be a, right? And then b divided by b would just be 1. So now we wrote this a, b minus b into b times a minus 1. And it is the same thing. If you were to multiply this out, you would get this on the top here. Okay, so now the left side stays the same. And now our final step to solve the equation for b. We're already close. So we just divide this a this a minus 1 term from both sides and now it will cancel out on this side so now we'll have b is equal to 4a divided by a minus 1 and that is our final answer so we have solved the equation for b and this is how to rewrite an equation for a specific variable. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye!